Okay, so let's create an alert component. We were talking about Bootstrap and how it comes with components already. They are not reacticized or they are not reactish, but they are components. Um, so if we want to evolve those React components, a good idea will be to make them React components. Someone did that already, by the way. It's called React Strap. React Strap. And I recommend it 100%. I think it was well done. If you wanna bring all the React components to your to the Bootstrap components to your website, React Strap is a great tool. But we're, it's like we're building a little bit of React Strap in this exercise. We are building the alert component. So how does it work? We have to first look at the code. It's very simple actually. Look, it's just a div with a class alert, alert primary. Well, primary depends on the color. Primary will be for blue. Like always in Bootstrap, you have primary blue, secondary, it's uh, it's this um, gray, then success is green, danger is uh, red, warning it's, it's yellow, and info it's blue. So if we copy this and we paste it in our website, or not in our website, we don't have a website, but in our component, let's say const alert, because we're making an alert component, so we gotta call it alert. Component names should always start with a capital letter, okay? So never put it in small case, it's not gonna work. Like the only reason React knows is a component is because it's in caps. If it's not in caps, it will not be a component, okay? It will be just a normal variable. So we gotta create a function for that. So function, open, close, and then we return our HTML for a normal, a normal alert. So from now on, the alert is exists. Yeah, like this works. If I just run this, it will work. It's not done, but it, it will work. And it's not working, so I have to beat my own tongue. What's the problem here? The line number 12 is missing a semicolon. Yeah, it was just a simple. But it's weird, because I already have my parentheses, and that should be enough. Maybe if I put it like this. That's weird. Let's try again. Yeah, it does work. Okay. So here's my alert. It's as you can see, it's blue, so it's a primary. Yeah, alert primary. It's exactly like bootstrap, a bootstrap alert. Let's see. The one thing that is having is that it should say, oh my god, something bad really happened. And it's not saying that. It's saying a simple alert, check it out. And that's because we are supposed to receive this text property. So we gotta put here props. And then we gotta remove this value, hard coded value, with a dynamic variable props.text. It has to match this one, okay? So they match, as you can see. So if I run this again, it should say now, oh my god, something really bad happened. Oh my god, something really bad happened. That's good. It's tested now. It's not working. Let's see if I have to do something else. Alert, alert, primary. Ah, it's supposed to be an alert danger, not an alert primary. So, danger. Let's test it again. Not as expected again. So let's see why. Oh, yeah. Always forget about the same thing, the class thing. And that's good.